Today's topic is office managers and coordination, and why it's important for office managers to be able to coordinate and have coordination skills. So let's start off by talking about coordinating. So uh, I did get a definition from dictionary.com. I mean, I think we all know what co to, uh, coordination skills and what coordinating means, but I actually really like this definition, so I'm going to share it with you. Dictionary.com defines coordinate as to bring the different elements of a complex activity or organization into a relationship that will ensure efficiency and harmony. I love that definition. Um, it definitely founded on the definition that I was going to give you, um, and I think it just um, really incorporates all the elements of uh, being able to coordinate different activities, okay? So that's basically what coordinating is, organizing different elements uh, to ensure efficiency and harmony, okay? So why is it important for office managers to be able to coordinate? Well, uh, office managers, you know, front office managers and dental offices, you know, when they come into work, well, I think when anybody comes into work, how many people come into work and only have one thing to get done that day? You know, you only have one thing on your to-do list and that's it, you're done for the day. I'm a freelancer and that very rarely even happens for me. So it's really important to be able to coordinate all of those different items on your to-do list to make sure they all get done and that nothing slips through the cracks, right? So that also implies a little bit of multitasking as well, right? Because you have a lot of different things on your to-do list and a lot of those different items on your to-do list have multiple steps in order to achieve what it is that you want to achieve, right? So you know, it's important to be able to coordinate um, not only the different steps in all of those tasks, but all of those tasks get together. So uh, I have a, I've said in previous videos that I am a huge fan of project management online systems to help coordinate all of those different tasks that you need to get done. Um, but you can also, you know, you don't have to use an online system. You can use, uh, you can go old school and kind of use an Excel spreadsheet or even just write stuff down on, you know, pen and paper. You know, whatever works for you in order to be able to coordinate all of those projects and all of those tasks, you know, do what works for you. Um, so when it comes to multitasking, like I said, coordinating and multitasking, they kind of go hand in hand, right? Because very rarely are you ever coordinating just one item. So multitasking is basically the ability to juggle all of those different items all at the same time, okay? And sometimes that can be a little bit difficult to do. So um, according to the American Management Association, uh, one way that you can practice multitasking is to pick a few items on your to-do list and coordinate those different items um, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis and then kind of work your way up from, you know, one item to three items to five items and, and things like that. Um, another suggestion by the American Management Association is that you take breaks. And I, I cannot stress enough, taking breaks throughout the day, I think, makes you more productive. I really do. Uh, so most most employers will give you at least a lunch break and maybe a couple of breaks throughout the day, maybe like two 15-minute breaks throughout the day. Make sure you're taking them. Make sure you have time to wind down and really unplug for a few minutes and reset your brain. Um, like I said, for me, it definitely, definitely makes me more productive if I get to take breaks throughout the day. And make sure that you're keeping your nutrition up. Make sure that you're taking that lunch break and make sure that you are eating well, okay, nutrition, always an important part of your overall health and well-being, okay? So that's it for me today. It's a little bit about office managers and coordination and a little bit of multitasking as well. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any other tips or insights about front office managers and coordination, be sure to comment on this video. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and I will be here again tomorrow. All right, bye.